Even though we specialize in training materials for the professional woodworking industry, we know that our techniques can benefit anyone. Take full advantage of this by signing up at woodproacademy.com. There you'll get full access to this tutorial, but you'll also get the full project downloads. You'll greatly accelerate your learning if you work along with the video. So go sign up at woodproacademy.com. Thanks for watching, enjoy your video, and we'll see you soon. First, let's take a look at what we are tagging. Now, if you don't, I'm using my middle mouse button, middle mouse scroll wheel to zoom in and out. And also as the middle mouse button, you push that button down and, and I, can, I can grab and pan around. So here's apartment type 1A, apartment type 1B. Here's SA, 2G. Now there's different configurations of kitchens and bathrooms. Here's a, here's a two bedroom, 2A. There's different configurations and that's, you know, that's what we're concerned with. So I'm going to create my first tag by choosing text box tool. I'm just going to create a text box and I'm going to say 1A. I'll do caps locks here, 1A. Okay. So that's a, that's what I mean by a tag. Let's make this visually a little different. Let's open the side panel in our properties palette. I'm going to modify this a little bit. Kind of a visual person. I like things to, you know, kind of pop on the page a little bit. All right, so there's a tag. Now, if I highlight this again, you'll see there is some there's some data up here uh, automatically, and I can I can by changing the subject here uh, or the contents of the box, I can I can modify this text box in that way. And then I'll put that to use in just a minute. So first I'm going to do control C and then control V for paste. And I want to, for, I want one tag for every unit that says 1A. Okay. And then I want one tag for every unit that says 1B. And again, control C, control V to paste. And I have some, some one-off unique apartments, 2G, SA, one C, two A. Scan around, make sure this is accurate. Now I'm going to do two things. I'm going to I'm going to select. I'm in pan mode right now. I guess I got stuck in that somehow. I can I can use the keyboard key V to go back to select, or I can go to edit and click select. And now I can make a selection window and select all of these tags at one time. I'm going to come over to the subject box and I'm going to type level, oh, caps locks, level two. Because this is level two. Ground floor is parking structure and amenities. All right, so I'm going to select them all again. Control C. I'm going to go to level three and I'm going to paste. And I can I can grab and drag these around as a group as well. Now, I cannot assume ever that from floor to floor the units are the same. In fact, here's one that's different. This unit was 2G, now it's 2D. 
on level three. Check all the rest. Okay, now I'm going to modify this data here for level, to say level three. Now let's do level four. Oh, missed one. There we go, control C. Two D. Okay, one thing I'm noticing here is that there are no unit type one Bs. These are all one As. So instead of changing these one at a time, I'm going to select all of the one Bs and just change it over here. One A. Okay. Now that's correct. Again, I want to change my subject to be level four. Alright. Now op expand this markups list down here and let's kind of play around with this data. Right now you see subject is highlighted. This is organized by subject which we changed by level. So we can see here in the comments column there's all of our unit types. And now look I'm going to click on the comments. Now it's organized by the comment, which is our unit type. So now it's organized by unit. Let me collapse all of these. Right here, we collapse all. And you can see there's a list of all of my units and how many of each there are. Okay, this is the data that I'm gonna plug into my spreadsheet. So let's open up the Excel file and plug this data into that. Well, we hope you benefited from this quick tutorial. Uh, don't forget that you can go sign up and get access to this full tutorial and many more. It's free for now, so be sure you head over there and take full advantage of this. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon at woodproacademy.com.